I'm back. You know I'm back. Okay, listen, quick video. Every year before boating and whatever, I always do the water check on the dry boxes. Uh, since I got a few minutes and I'm home alone, you know how it is. I'm going to take advantage of that and uh, give them the old dunk test. And for me, the only way to tell if they're really working right, toilet paper. If they can't keep toilet paper dry, it's not working. Now, for, if you remember from my past video, because I really hate these uh, automatic purge valves, I've taped with clear plastic tape on the inside. And uh, you'll have to find that video yourself. I'm too stupid to link them. Okay, let's look at the, uh, the sink and watch me dip them. This is going to be one of those one-shot videos where uh, everything happens. No editing. So, I put them both in. They're completely submerged at this moment. I could actually... Whoop, turned on the water. That's okay. Let's use some water as weight. Okay, now I believe the uh, one with the orange lining is probably over 10 years old or around 10. The other one's got to be at least, I don't know, I had an original iPhone, so I don't, five, six, seven, they could be older, who knows. So, they've been under good full submersion. This is about the equivalent of the big swim. Take them out. Let's uh, get a towel and dry them off. Because I really do want to give them every chance of actually working. You know, passing the test. And usually if they'll survive a good dunk like that, they'll do fine for me on the river. Now, if this were a full-size Pelican case and it failed, I'd just order a new gasket. Okay. Well, let's uh, take a look at our first contestant. Dry as a bone. Dry as a bone. So this bad boy is ready for the river. And they will tell you it's water resistant, not waterproof. And it's because of the Gore-Tex in this valve. But if you put clear tape on the inside, you've actually got a seal box. Now, it might vacuum seal on you. But if you're not strong enough to rip this apart, you really don't want what's inside bad enough. Okay. Same thing with this one. Bone dry. And if you look closely, you can actually see how the water goes right up to the groove of the seal, but doesn't intrude into the box. And again, I've done the same thing here. All you got to do to uh, tape off the gasket. Oh, it's been in here so long. There we go. Oh, here the stick. Anyways... Right in there is where you put a clear piece of tape, electrical tape, whatever you want. It's not permanent. I'm not saying glue it shut. And uh, then just drop your liner back in. Make sure it's on the groove. And when you close your case, it literally resets itself. All right, so two boxes still in the good. You know, truthfully, you buy these things, they damn really do last forever. And I like to have a little piece of string on the back of mine in case I need to clip it to something. But I do find the belt loops occasionally helpful too. Though right now, both of these cases are the wrong size for like a phone or any of the junk I use. 
but they are nice little boxes. Okay, that's the video. Pelican cases, you got them.